today we are going to design a bar for a full arch and this bar it's going to be similar to the ones that we do in Blender but we're going to do it in ExoCAD. The first step is go to expert mode so you have the full arch design already ready. Go to expert mode. Next. Now we need to delete constructions, the merged part and click OK. And you're going to need to export the first file, which is the full contour of the full arch. This is going to be our voxel design. We're going to adapt this voxel to the final bar. First thing is to make sure that the only visible object is the full arch that we want to adapt to the bar. Now to do that I go show all and then click hide all and bring up only the file that I want to export and hide everything else. So to do that I go right click and save and export scene to mesh. So this one I'll call it full contour because this is the design that we're going to adapt to the bar and save. Save visible objects only, yes, and use default coordinate system. Now, after that, we go to tools and we're going to change reconstruction type to reduced because this one is full contour and now we want to reduce the structure. So you click yes, you only need to select one of them and press OK. Now, after doing that, you go to wizard and now we have the anatomic reduction part we go with exclude select parts and the idea here is to first of all mark all and we're gonna define the base of the bar basically we're gonna select the margin of the bar so you see this blue line here it's gonna be the base of the bar Now, when selecting the, the margin on the buccal side, just be sure uh, where the margin needs to be because if the patient smiles and you can see this transition, you should try to hide the bar like as much as you can inside, otherwise it's going to be visible the transition. So you need to be careful with that. In the palatal area, you don't need to go as deep, just to make the margin further away from the soft tissue. Now, after defining the margin, we're going to do the reduction. Don't forget to match this number with the one that you see here. Otherwise, it's going to reduce the gingiva part less than the tooth part. And now we're going to do around two millimeters. So as you can see, it reduced all around like this. And the idea now is for us to cut all this part above and and do the bar. So basically you go next and now we go to expert mode and we're gonna we're gonna use the edit mesh. Now the idea at this stage is to cut everything above around this part like this. Make sure that you didn't trim any of the margins of the bar. Now, 
what we need to do next is to select the upper part to close the hole and at the same time make sure that you don't close the holes from the from the abutments so make sure that any of these holes is closed only the top part now you go OK and we're going to we're going to freeform it a bit we're going to smooth all this area here Now at this stage, we're going to use this anatomic box up as a reference to build up the bar. Now we come to the paint and pull part and we're going to create the, the height of the bar because now it's very small, it's uh, very short and we're going to use uh, this anatomic box up as a as a visualization tool to see where where to paint and where where we should pull later on. Now basically we're gonna use this tool to create the body of the of the bar and for that we're gonna paint. Like this. Always use this as a reference to know how much we can bring it up. Now we're gonna use the the pull tool. Well, we can increase a bit the yellow part. If you see, every time I go up, it grows a bit around the, the green part. And we can pull. So we're gonna create the body of the bar. At this stage, we can play around a bit to see where is the best position for it. And at the same time, we need to see from above to see if we can see the margin all around and avoid any undercuts. And now basically using the, the full contour we can shape it better with the tools, with the freeforming tools to make sure we have no undercuts and we have a smooth bar. Now it's very important always to see from this point of view and make sure you can see the margin all around and if you can see it all around it means that you have no undercuts on the margins so for example here I don't clearly see the margin although I can see it I'm gonna make sure it's I'm gonna bring the top part a bit more in like smoothing this part to make sure I have a, a clear path of insertion and we don't have any open gaps on the margins just smoothing a bit the margin because it's looking a bit rough now we need to bring this up and start checking if we have enough space for the zirconia or whichever material or is gonna be something like this and make sure that you fill up this red part because this is the minimal thickness for the chimney of the abutments
might need to bring the margin a bit more back here. Just to make sure we have no undercuts, no margins. Now we're going to bring up the, the reduced box up. So usually I like to hide all and just bring up the reduced box up. And we're going to bring up the abutments. like this and we're gonna save this one export scene to mesh and we're gonna call it bar no holes side yes use default before I go next I need to come here and screw hole designs and I'll select this option off press ok and we go to the next stage and it's going to create the holes on the bar like this so this is the file for the bar to be milled and now we're gonna export this one just to check so show all hide now we go to merged parts I'm gonna save this one as bar with holes We're going to use this one as a change UI, as a soft tissue. So, soft tissue. And finally, we're going to bring... We're going to bring the screw holes with us, so... Screw holes. Now the bar is done and we're going to need five files. We're going to need the full contour. We're going to need the bar with no holes. We're going to need the bar with holes. We're going to need the soft tissue and we're going to need the screw holes. After that, we create a new job. So we're going to select an atomic box up with extra gingiva scan, press OK. We're not going to use the antagonist this time, just for us to put everything together. Now, we're going to select design. So the upper jaw, you select the bar with no holes. Then the full contour is the wax up. The change of, uh, is the soft tissue. Select the right orientation. And now we select the margin of the bar. We need to spend some time correcting the margin, make everything, sh make sure that everything is in the right position. After everything is in the correct position, go next and set the right insertion path. Make sure that the margins have no further cuts. So it adapted uh, the box up to the bar. So as you can see, it's looking quite good. You can thicken out some of the areas where it's a bit thinner. So for the holes, the easiest way is to go to expert mode, add. Uh, add a generic visualization mesh load and bring up the screw holes then you go OK and you select them you go edit mesh you select them and you do close holes and now you have these structures you go ok 
then you save this one, export. You you can actually screw holes too. So yes. And now you go wizard. Go next. After after it's merged, you go freeform restorations. And now we go attachments, we go subtract. We go pull from file, we bring up the screw holes that are closed. We say do not rotate. And now we can allow any changes. Select apply. Actually, let's undo this part. Make sure, you know, that you don't have these small holes. So make sure you don't gonna pierce any other part other than the holes. <coughs> <coughs> so we go to attachment, we select subtract and load from file. And we select the screw hole too. Do not rotate. So allowing changes, you need to tick this box and apply. Okay, and now the last part is to bring up the bring up bring up the bar. Yeah, it can be this one with holes. And there you have it, a bar designed in ExoCAD that looks like the ones that are done in Blender and with perfect screw holes tailored to the bar. Now none of this is possible if you don't know how to design a full arch and all on X. So if you want to learn how to do this full arch, check out this video. I hope you enjoy it.